Welcome, Hudson Valley. This is Connor Walsh, host of In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's award-winning public affairs and issues program. Lane Rodkamp from Dutchess Tourism returns this week. Dutchess County played a critical role in the Revolutionary War. In the spirit of the legend himself, Dutchess Tourism launched Commander in Cheers, an augmented reality experience that serves up a pint-sized George Washington to share stories about Dutchess County's revolutionary endeavors. We invite you to join us and listen to a previously recorded conversation between Lane Rodkamp and myself here on In Touch. Thank you for all the kind words shared in regard to In Touch officially being awarded the 2023 New York State Broadcasters Association Award for Outstanding Public Affairs Program or Series as part of the 57th Annual Excellence in Broadcasting Awards. This recognition would not be possible without the incredible team here at Town Square, all of our phenomenal guests that we learn and grow with every single week, and of course you. The listener. Whether you've been listening for a while or you just found us, thank you for taking part in the conversation and staying in touch with what's going on in the Hudson Valley. We here at In Touch are all about, well, being in touch with what's going on in the Hudson Valley. What better way to stay in touch with what's going on than by downloading the Town Square Media mobile app for this radio station? Not only can you listen to this station live at any time using the app, but you can also listen to In Touch On Demand. Besides In Touch, you can read daily articles about news, events, entertainment, and more that's going on in your community. And when the weather gets bad, you can use the app to check on weather reports and see which roads, schools, and organizations are closed. Your Town Square media app is the best place for concert tickets and events as well. We're constantly giving away tickets to the hottest shows in the area. Again, you'll have access to all of this if you just download the Town Square media mobile app for this radio station. In Touch is nothing without the support of the hundreds of listeners that we get on a weekly basis. Thank you so much for listening and taking part in the conversation. If you listen to In Touch through a podcast service such as Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please consider leaving a positive review. With more five-star reviews on these platforms, the algorithms will work hard to promote our show and bring In Touch to new people. That and also sharing In Touch with your friends and family is so important. Just sharing our links and listening live each Sunday goes such a long way. Thank you for all you do to stay in touch with what's going on in the Hudson Valley. Hello, Hudson Valley. You're listening to another episode of In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's award-winning public affairs and issues program. And we got the queen of Dutchess County back herself. We got Malayne Rodkamp, president and CEO of Dutchess Tourism, with us to talk about the amazing things that's going to be happening this spring. And we might even get a little bit of what's coming in the summer as well. So we got all that coming. So, Malayne, how are you? I'm great. I'm so happy to be back with you. Happy to have you back in here. It's kind of Crazy. It has been a little while it's since we've had you in while. here. We've so been busy. We have been busy. Uh, in Touch has been busy. Duchess Tourism has been busy. So I'm glad that I can finally nab you, get you down here and everything. And of course, like last time, we're standing. This is a yeah. marathon. We, we got to be energetic. We're having a good time <laughs> here. And of course, with Duchess, uh, Duchess Tourism, there's a lot of amazing things going on. And this is pretty much going to be rapid fire. So we want to get into everything. I want to start off with these wonderful coasters that you brought me. We were talking about this before over email and everything, but I just got to see this firsthand (laughs) and it was really cool. And I'm going to include it in the article portion of this episode. Don't worry. You'll be able to check that out. But there's this awesome new augmented reality experience called Commander in Cheers that people in Dutchess County can take advantage of. What the heck is this incredible (laughs) virtual reality experience? Yeah, it's really fun. Our agency came to us with this idea, and then as we started talking, it it snowballed. And so right before President's Weekend, we launched Commander in Cheers. If you go to commanderincheers.com, you can read all about it. But what it is is we worked with Evercoast, their production studio in Brooklyn. What they say is they take humans and, you know, make them into these holograms. And so we worked very closely with our county historian, Will Tatum, who's amazing. And he connected us with the preeminent George Washington reenactor, mm. who happens to live in Connecticut. And so we had John Koopman come to the studio in his full regalia. He, he didn't change at the studio. He came in costume. I love it. Can you just imagine George so wait, Washington. So he was walking around Brooklyn like yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. 
fantastic. <laughs> and even his unitherm is incredibly authentic. He is the exact measurements, height really? and everything, of George Washington. That's so crazy. it's bonkers. And so we had Mr. Koopman come, and we had written six different scripts to help us tell the story, the Revolutionary War, that time period, of some significant things at Dutchess County, because we're going to be leading into 2026. So if you're as old as I am, you remember the bicentennial in 1976. Mm. So 2026 is the 250th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence when we said that we were going to break apart from England and we were going to rule ourselves. So we have places like the John Kane House in Pauling, which was, John Kane was a Tory, and mm. Washington came and they kicked him out and they took over his <laughs> house in Pauling for his headquarters for a brief period of time. Fishkill played a really pivotal role in the war. They had the supply depot there. You can go visit the Van Wyck homestead. They used some of the churches there for hospitals and prisons and other things. And then, you know, the river obviously was a big way for people to travel. And, you know, that you know about, you hopefully you know about the blockade that they set up at West Point oh, and yes. the chains. And, you know, so seeing, uh, being able to have Be Mount Beacon, it's called Beacon because mm. they used to light signal fires, which were beacons to let people know if, you know, trouble was coming up the river. Yeah. Because you could see it. So there's all these different places around the county. So we were able to choose six because we don't have unlimited money. Unfortunately. And I know. So we created these augmented reality experiences. They're delivered through coasters. On our website, you can see the six different regions of the county where they are and the different bars and restaurants and craft beverage producers where they're at that you can see them and go have this experience. There's a different story for each region of the county. And if you want to hear all six, you have to go to all six parts of the county. So it's a fun way to get people out to learn a little bit about our history, to support our restaurants, our craft beverage producers, and just have a, a really fun time. You guys are the best when it comes to different scavenger hunts all across the county. You have a way of like, all right, you got to find this. You got to find that. You got to go here. And I think that's just part of the fun. Yeah. I think that's such a th fun thing about it. Whether you're outside the area or whether you're from Dutchess County, there's so much to learn and experience because mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff that I was just seeing with the coasters, you know, it's new to me too. Like yeah. I might know like a general idea, but like to be able to get these specifics is really incredible. And talking when it comes to like these quote unquote scavenger hunts of yours, also want to talk about your confection finder. You have a new thing <laughs> on that, uh, something that I'm sure that uh, my parents in particular would love it. They love their sweets. I'm more of a savory guy, but they love their sweets. You have the sweet tooth trail That's that is right. now available. And honestly, I was kind of looking at it and I was getting hungry. So tell <laughs> us about this. Well, you know, it, it, Easter is coming and, and those holidays, you think of those chocolate bunnies. And so uh, we have our finder passes. So you've heard us talk before about the Zen finder and the CIA chef finder yes. and the farm finder and the story finder, which is about history and that kind of thing. But uh, the, the last of our eight trails is the confection finder. Mm. And that's where you can go and you can go to places like the Cakery and the new Donut Dolly out of Eastdale and Ooh, the, Emmy's seen Delights and Bites, which are vegan and, and a lot of allergen free. She's a CIA grad too, and that's in Hyde Park. Uh, Midnight Munchie Company, Hakan Chocolatier, there's a whole bunch of great places on the pass. You go, you earn points, you get entered to win prize drawings. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Not only do you get to have sweet treats, but you also get entered to win those prizes when you check in at those places with this pass. And that's awesome. And just for those who are unaware, how exactly do they earn the points? How do they get the, get into the running for these prizes? Do they have to download an app for this pass? How does that work? Right. So you're going to go to duchesstourism.com forward slash finder. And that's where you're going to see all the different passes listed. All the passes are free except the craft beverage taste finder because that you get free tastings and pours and other things like that. Every other one is free. So you get the pass. It's not an app, but there's a digital download and you have like a little short cut to it on your phone screen and it uses your geolocation data so when you go to the place you just tap it to check in and you start earning points. That's terrific. I've been to Midnight Munchies a few more times than I should really admit <laughs> recently so uh, it, I've definitely earned my points, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. But it really is nice, and you're able to get these really sweet deals with it, no pun intended. But it really is terrific to see something like that, and I'm I'm excited for it. I know my parents are definitely going to like that, that's yeah. for sure. 
And it's just a great way to help enjoy the spring weather. It is officially spring now. Yay! And I think Punxsutawney Phil was kind of right this year. <laughs> it's been warm for the most part. It's been a little weird, but warm for the most part. I think we're getting spring. We got a lot of awesome things that are probably going to be going on throughout the county, and you're the one to tell us about it. So those who want to enjoy the spring weather, the spring atmosphere, what are some of the things that people should be looking into in Dutchess County? So there's no better time to get out than with the trails, that Zen Finder Trail. A lot of us were such creatures of habit. We go to the same places over and over again. And yet, you know, Dutchess County is 800 square miles. There's 30 towns and villages and cities here. There are so many fun places to explore. So go out and check those out. See the blossoms out. New York State, I love New York, has started a new blossoms tracker, kind of like the fall foliage tracker. Yes. Um, they're checking certain flowers. But here in Dutchess County, great places to go. Any of the gardens at yes. our National Historic Sites, Vanderbilt Mansion, their gardens are phenomenal. The Beatrix Ferran Garden, which is on the property of the FDR home and library, um, the Rose Garden at the Home and Library, the flowers in there. It's too early for roses, but everything else is coming up. Locust Grove, stunning, stunning. Absolutely. Stunning. June at Locust Grove when all the peonies are out is one of my favorite places to be. And so one of the things that we do at Duchess Tourism, it started during the pandemic, is we do a Great Estates Garden and Landscape Weekend. Yes. Where some yeah. of those historic sites will plan special programming. So there's going to be one in June. There's going to be one in August. And those are all going to be up on our website as we develop those and move them forward. I remember them last year, and I, I was only able to go to a couple of mm -hmm. them. I went over to uh, Vanderbilt one in particular, nice. like really swept me away. Yeah. I thought it was terrific. And I love Vanderbilt altogether. That's where I got my prom pictures done nice. anyway. So, um, But it's so gorgeous. I brought my girlfriend over to the gardens when she visited um, the area for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it looks kind of dead now, but she was like, I can picture what yeah. this will be like. And I can't wait to bring her back and to show her, uh, show her everything. Again, she's up in Schenectady, so you know yeah. doesn't get to see this as often. Well, and know that those gardens are maintained by volunteers, like yes. an army of volunteers. So without all of those people giving their time and effort and skill, we wouldn't have those to enjoy. So you know, shout out and uh, applause for all those volunteers that contribute that time to give us these beautiful experiences. Absolutely, honestly, there's a lot of different organizations around here that really are volunteer run and. Mm -hmm. Things that really shouldn't be just volunteer because of the work and the blood, yeah. sweat, and tears that go into it. But it really is so rewarding that we have this in the area. Again, you're listening to In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's award-winning public affairs and issues program. We're speaking with Malayne Rodkamp, president and CEO of Duchess Tourism. And we've just been talking about the wonderful things that are beginning to happen this spring, whether that is the Commander in Cheers, which was so cool. And we're going to have videos of that on the website for for you to check out the Sweet Tooth Trail and just talking about enjoying spring to the fullest. And another thing that we really want to get into, and it's kind of cool, we were talking about this off the mic. I was part of this somehow, some way, very, very tiny way. <laughs> but you guys are going to be releasing your 2024 Discover Duchess Destination Guide. These destination guides are so legendary when it comes to pulling everything together. You have this for 2024. It's coming out soon. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, so it'll come out in May. We do it every single year. And it's an incredible guide. We, we break it down by section of the county because people aren't very good at geography. We love them. But, you know, it's sometimes if you're new to the area, you don't realize that you can't go to Dia Beacon and then hop to Rhinebeck for a quick lunch. No. You know, there, there's a bit of travel in there. So, you know, we say if you have one day, focus on one of the regions of the county. If you have more days, you know, come stay a week because there's more than enough to do for a week here. So we break it down by section and we also break it down. Um, you know, we'll have a page dedicated to family friendly things. We have a page dedicated to weddings. We're a huge wedding destination. Mm. You know, we have a section dedicated to meetings and family reunions. And so there's all kinds of information packed into this guide, lots of amazing photos. And, and you're going to want to get your copy. And you can do that at 
different tourist information centers all around the county, including at our office on Neptune Road. We're right behind that Red Lobster in Route 9. Yes. Do they have to pick it up in person or could it be mailed or done digitally at all? There's definitely digitals. There's PDF and uh, digital downloads. You can flip through that. Um, obviously, those, those information centers are in places all over the county. Yes. So whether you're in Rhinebeck or Beacon or Poughkeepsie or Millerton or Dover or Pauling, there's someplace near you that you can get it. So that's ideal if you can do that. If you need us to mail in, we will mail in to you. But ideally, if you can pick it up, then that's great. Makes sense. Just want to ask for anybody making those questions out there. I'm yeah. your proxy, of course. Everybody listening, I'm your proxy. <laughs> um, and, of course, uh, there's a special, uh, instead of Where's Waldo, Where's Walsh, you can find me in it. We won't tell you where. I just know. be on the lookout. But I <laughs> am there. And I just got to say, the experience that we had that led to the picture that you'll see there was a phenomenal day. And uh, I'll just leave it at that because I want to leave it a surprise for all those listening. But, no, that's fantastic. And I think... We have a lot of fun. Um, we do have fun. With shooting, our, with our, our photo and video crew is amazing. But one of the things I want to let your listeners know is we use a lot of user-generated content, UGC, mm. we call it. So if you've taken beautiful photos out there in Dutchess County, send them to us. Tag us on Instagram because you might just see them in our travel guide or yeah. in our brochures or on our website. Well, we you- give credit for that, too. And it's a lot of fun t- uh, to to just see how real people are out there enjoying our destination. Absolutely. And actually, it's funny you say that, kind of backtracking a little bit. Didn't you do that for uh, the holidays when it came to uh, putting together a calendar? Am I remembering that right? No, but we've talked about that. Talked about it? We okay. Have, we have done postcards. We do postcards. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking, so postcards. So if you, you want to get some postcards, you know, come in, invite your friends and family to come visit us here. You know, We'll boost our visitor economy, uh, which, if you remember from one of our last conversations, visitors in Dutchess County spent $706 million in Dutchess County in 2022. That's almost $2 million a day. That's insane. Yeah. That really is an insane amount of money that's coming through tourism-wise. So when it comes to looking ahead now mm-hmm. for 2024, are there any particular goals that you guys are trying to reach financially with tourism? And is there anything on the financial side that you want to discuss on the program right now? You know, we're always trying to grow. Yeah, um, It's hard to do, but we have. Every, we had visitor spending growth. 10 consecutive years until we hit the pandemic. Yeah. And then that first year after the pandemic, we were almost, we were like a hair's breath back to normal. Mm. And then last year exceeding it. So, you know, we're waiting for our 2023 numbers. But one of the things that we do, everybody thinks that like the first quarter of the year is, oh, it must be a downtime for you. It must be slow. (laughs) It is anything but slow. I have team members who are at travel and adventure shows, uh, talking to consumers, looking to plan trips in New York City, Denver, Chicago. Chicago, Washington, D.C. Um, one of my staff members, she focuses on international visitors because they come, they stay longer, they spend mm-hmm. more money. So she was in Australia and New Zealand teaching wow. those travel agents and things how to market Dutchess County, telling them all about the things that their people can do when they come here, talking about how close we are to New York City, how easy it is to get here. And while she was doing that, I was in Ireland at the Aer Lingus Roadshow. So Aer Lingus is a major airline. and they had My cousins eight, worked for them. Yeah. So yeah. we had there, we were there, there's 18 of us from destinations they fly direct to. And I will tell you that we were in Belfast, Dublin, Cork, and Limerick. So it really was a road show. We're getting on a bus going before, you know, from place to place to place. Those are long trips. I'm so jealous. And, well, you would think that, but it's, you know, it's <laughs> it's eating the same taste of America food every night, which is kind of bar food. And for New York, you know, they try to represent all the destinations. And, yeah. you know, they had, quote, unquote, pepperoni pizza for New York. Oh, and gosh. What was that like? <laughs> I wouldn't know because I refused to eat it. <laughs> I know that's not very nice of me in terms of accepting their hospitality. I'm sure but you tried plenty of other wonderful I stuff, had though. I a lot of other wonderful things while I was there, but I was, I was, not, I was a step too far for me. So. You, you tried more <laughs> of their local cuisine to get involved with sure. it, right? That's... Well, you know, the, you know, the best part of that trip for me was that, um, you know, everybody says they have amazing food. Yes. And and as I'm talking to these travel agents who who plan trips and sell trips. And I, and I said that to them. I said, but nobody has what we have. And that's the Culinary Institute of America. Yeah. Nobody has more than 35 restaurants in their county, in their destination, 
owned and run by graduates. Yeah. They just don't. And so if you want to have amazing food, I said, don't judge us on this. Don't judge us <laughs> on our, um, you know, commercial beers and brews. Don't judge us there. Come taste for yourself what we had to do here uh, and what we have to eat and experience and enjoy here. So it was a great trip. And I will say that 95% of the people I talked to knew all about Manhattan, had mm. no idea there was a whole state attached, much less that it wasn't tall buildings everywhere. Yeah. So being there was really, really important. I was glad I got to do that. It really is important to get the awareness out of mm -hmm. Dutchess County. And as you said, of upstate New York as a whole, there is a whole rest of the state. Yeah. I talk to people from other countries and I'll say I'm from New York. It's like, oh, my God, what's it like <laughs> living in the city? It's like it is not a whole cityscape. It is not like Coruscant. The entire planet is a uh, city <laughs> or something. Uh, it it really is so beautiful. And to be, the fact that you're going to all these other states, going to yeah. all these other countries, we've mentioned before how you've traveled abroad for this. And it just goes to show how important this state really is, how mm -hmm. important this county really is, and how much of an impact it yeah. can have. I've mentioned this before. I will say it again. When you live in a certain place, you kind of forget about some of the magic. Uh -huh. But then when you get away and you get to talk about it and you get to showcase it, you can kind of bring back some of the magic and rediscover it. That's why it's so good to go on these trails. If you're in Dutchess County, like Poughkeepsie born and raised right here, there are so many things that I would never have known if you never came in and told me about it. Yeah. It's true. And that's why I love having you in here to talk about these things, get other people to learn it, and just keep bolstering things even, even more. It's so cool. I love the history of it all. Again, you're listening to In Touch, Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley's award-winning public affairs and issues program, the queen of Dutchess County herself, Melaine Rodkamp, president and CEO of Dutchess Tourism, talking about the amazing things that you can expect for spring and summer, all the things that you can find on their websites, talking about their discover guide, uh, destination guide, I should say, and just so many awesome things that are going on. So, Melaine, of course, Got the spring coming up. We got the summer coming up. What's the best way for people to stay in touch with Dutchess Tourism? You know, follow us on social media, our Facebook page, our Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. If you Sign up for our e-newsletters. They come once a month. I promise we're not going to junk up your inbox, but it will give you those key things, help you find what there is to see and do. Um, send us your photos. We want to see them. Send us your vertical videos. If you're out mm. at one of our attractions, you know, send it to us. We have on our website, if you scroll down on the homepage, it's, it's a long homepage, I admit. <laughs> I know because there's so much to do. There is but so if you much. go down, you will see a gallery of that of those photos from people in our destination. And there's a button there that you can click to upload your photos and video to us. And you might just see it in some of our promotions. So that's a lot of fun. You know, all of those ways are, are good ways to keep in touch with us and to find out what's going on. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself this gift of time and go have a new experience. It'll just make the spring and summer so much easier. Like, yeah. don't fret over. It's like, what am I going to do today? You got a whole itinerary right here, pretty that's much. It. And that's fantastic. The event calendar is always packed. You guys have so much going on on yeah. the event calendar. It's a great way to curate everything going on. And just like this co conversation, how rapid fire it is and how <laughs> consumed everything is, it's a good way to keep it all together. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to ask... This has been very rapid fire. I don't want to miss anything. Is there any last thing in the last couple of minutes that you wanted to shout out? Oh, my gosh. You know what? Really, not about stuff to do, but my team. Okay. The, uh, the we people love your team. That we, I love my team. I have the best team ever. Truly. Every single one of them is fantastic. They work with great passion. They're there to support our businesses and partners. If you're a tourism-related business and you're not working with us, reach out to us. Email info at duchesstourism.com. There are so many free things that we do to offer partners and businesses to help them. Think of us as your, your extra teammate. So we're, we're here for our community. That's fantastic. If you guys aren't in on the Duchess Tourism right now, get on it. What are you waiting for? Exactly. Malaya her team, everybody, it's Phenomenal resource, and it's just going to make the county better and better and better. Melaine, thank you so much for being here on In Touch. I can't wait for the next time that we have you, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty to talk about at that point. Hopefully even have numbers for 2023 at that yeah, point, fingers maybe. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Sounds good. Again, Melaine, thank you so much, and happy spring. Thank you. This has been this week's edition of In Touch, the award-winning public affairs and issues program that runs across Town Square Media, the Hudson Valley radio stations. 
We want to give a big thank you to Melaine Rodkamp. To learn more about the awesome things happening around Dutchess County, visit duchesstourism.com. Of course, all links and information can be found in the description of this episode. Whether you've been listening for a while or you just joined us, thank you. You can find In Touch episodes new and old on your favorite streaming services like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and more. That and listen on demand with your Town Square Radio Station mobile app. Of course, you can still find all articles and audio under the In Touch tab on this radio station's app and website. And don't forget, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at InTouch underscore HV. If you like what we do here on InTouch and want to be on the show, let us know. Whether you have a topic you want to discuss or you want to be a guest, you can fill out the InTouch submission form, which can be found in the description of this episode. I've been your host, Connor Walsh. Until next time, stay curious, keep an open mind, and as always, I'm glad we get to spend some time 